Space Cadet not had the Space Cadet Splinter. Come in, Splinter. I have the killer asteroid in sight. Roger that, Cadet Knothead. We have to do something before it destroys the Earth. My Zack Zobar East Alien Hunter Fomerang should do the job. Yay! We saved the Earth! Uh-oh! Ah! There's only so many space missions one uncle can take. This is not gonna go on all summer, I can tell you that. Maybe you could send us to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp, Uncle Woody. Do you have any idea what summer camp costs these days? <laughs> 300 bucks a week? Can we go, Uncle Woody? Please, please, please. Can we, can we? Well, what do you know? I have exactly $45. Only enough to send your beaks to that camp. Perfect. 45 bucks is all I need. <laughs> then I'll have enough to go to Bora Bora. Well, hello there, sucker. I mean, sir. Looking to send the little ones off to camp this summer? You bet. Well, at Camp Buzzard, we train youngsters to be fine, upstanding Buzzard Scouts. Uh, space Cadets. I've never heard of Camp Buzzard. What do kids do at this camp anyway? Is it expensive? There's overhead, room and board, luxury tax, equestrian fee, and you always have to consider the end. About 50 bucks. But we're having a deal this week only. Two for 45. 45 bucks? Sold! Counselor Buzz, they're all yours. Welcome to Camp Buzzard, kids. <sighs> Gee, it doesn't look like much. This is an exact replica of Planet Junko Rama. Really? Cool. Do we get camp nicknames like they do at Zack Zobar's camp? Eh, uh, nicknames? Uh, sure. You'll be 102373, and you can be 102374. That was my old nickname at camp. What kind of camps have you been to? I went to uh, Camp Folsom. I mean Camp Alcatraz. Uh, I mean Camp Pokey. Yeah, Camp Hokey Pokey. Now go play. <laughs> Bora Bora, here I come. We're Bora Bored! We came here to be space cadets! Huh? Uh oh, sure! In order to be space cadets, you gotta earn a bunch of merit badges. Here, this is for your weightless training merit badge. What are those? Anti-gravity boots? Yeah, they belong to my favorite auntie, gravity. Wait! What about seatbelts? What about navigational equipment? How will we know where to go? Follow the sun. You'll be close enough. But how will we steer? It's so easy, even a woodpecker can do it. All you gotta do is pull the release pin. <laughs> We're hungry now, Counselor Buzz. Yeah, well, you know, a good Buzzard Scout space cadet learns how to survive on any planet. You gotta hunt for food. Oh, boy, we'll catch a bear for dinner. Sure, a good Buzzard Scout space cadet spends hours making a trap for the, uh, I spent hours making a trap merit badge. We can cover a hole with palm leaves. Or roll a 10-ton boulder down a hill. Or string up a 50-mile net. They have now officially earned their sucker merit badge. <laughs> oh, drop a boulder. Yeah. Perchance, an incoming net? <laughs> when you're good, you're me. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> What are you little buzzard scouts doing now? At camp, we're supposed to have rides! Like canoeing or horseback riding. Or how about a rocket to the moon? Yay! 
Go get your space helmets and get ready for the last merit badge you'll ever need here on Earth. Take off in T minus ten. Nine. Zero. One small step for woodpeckers, and one giant leap towards my vacation! <laughs> Freeze, alien! We claim this planet in the name of Camp Buzzard! <laughs> please, buddy, take him home. I'll give you all your money back. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. No please. dice. We had a deal. Forty-five bucks and you'd take care of him for the whole summer. Please, I'll give you triple. <sighs> take everything I got. Just take him back. Please. <laughs> Why so glum, campers? Don't you want to go to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp? Yeah, yeah, go on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? It's finally Father's Day. The day of our annual father-son tee-off, Pops. No matter how crazy Dad makes me, this year, I'll be the one taking home the trophy. Boyo! Are you ready for our annual father-son golf tournament? <laughs> you betcha, Pop. Rest assured, laddie. The trophy is going home with me, just like it does every year. We'll see about that, Pop. And none of your shenanigans, boy of mine. I'm going to beat you fair and square by the 18th hole. You're on, Pops. Anybody thinking of golfing should think again. There will be a major thunderstorm this afternoon. I have a feeling I'm going to get what I'm really after by the 18th hole. Now, watch how a master tees off. Not bad at all, Pops. Now watch this. Whoa! Oh, the love of Mike, laddie. Are you planning to whack the ball or kiss it? You're aiming to knock its lights out, laddie. Get mad! <laughs> Let me help you. Now. No! Oh, yeah. That trophy's all but mine. Sure. If it was a trophy for best divot digger. As quick as messy on dry land. Are you that out of shape, would you? Get out and about and feel the wind beneath your kilt, like a real woodpecker would. Dolphins. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. That's my ball, there, boy. -o. Better stop laying about. I'm beating you, laddie. <laughs> I'll bet it's a hole in one. I'm guessing the trophy's mine. A record storm is heading our way. Golfers, be advised. Rain's coming. I'd better speed this along so we can get to the 18th hole in time.
shot, Daddy O. Merciful divots, that was a beauty of a head, son. <laughs> The old electromagnet trick. All I can say is you'll have to play the ball when it lies, boy -o. You're really in it now, son. You'll never clear these bushes. With that shot, I'm one stroke closer to the trophy. Excuse me, does this ball belong to either of you? It is not my ball. It is an English ball. And I only use Scottish. Rude uses English balls. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go out in a storm dress like that. Well, what do you know about that? This is no rain. It's just a mist. Play on, lad. But, Pop, the neck peckers are golfers, not swimmers. Ah, there's a wee bit of water that scares you, then. <laughs> Come on, swing already. Come on, come on. Moody boy, speak to me. Speak to your old dad. <laughs> I death this to him. I pushed him too hard. I don't deserve to wear this cow. I don't deserve this bonny small cappy. <laughs> Son, I only want you to know. Uh, oh, thank the great kilt giver, you're all right. Is there anything I can do for you, Sonny? Well, <coughs> I might be back to my old self if I had that trophy, Pop. Sure, sure, my sonny boy. Anything. It's yours for the year. Keep it. Really? Thanks, Pop. I got the trophy. I got the trophy. What? You weren't even struck then, eh? You were just fooling your old puppy the whole time. No! My trophy! <laughs> sure thing, boy -o. That'll look great on your mantle for the rest of the year. <laughs> Okay, Scouts, that ends our tour of the petrified forest with trees that are 10 million years old and as hard as rocks. <laughs> now, let's go see some amazing redwoods. Petrified forest that way. Hmm, I'd better go the other way. Unpack trees, and they're all for me. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> oh, why, I feel rather strange. What am I doing in this wretched place? I'd better head back to civilization. <laughs> oh my, it's so lovely. I can't wait for all the little birdies to... <gasps> Hold it right there, woodpecker. This bird bath is not for you, so forget it. Why, I wouldn't dream of being so bold. I was merely admiring the craftsmanship. 
flat the river, get you nowhere. I am not cleaning up that mess of yours. I'm so sorry, dear neighbour. I had no idea I was so inconsiderate. I'll take care of that mess. I... I can't believe it. You've seen the error of your ways. Maybe now we can live in harmony. Of course we can. Woody and Wally. Friends, neighbours and brothers. <sighs> I can't believe it took us so long to see how alike we really are. Astonishing, isn't it? That's game. What? But I have never lost a game of Swedish checkers. I am the reigning champion. It was just luck, old chum. I'm sure you'll win the next game. Well, how about a more challenging game? Greased pole climbing is my favorite game. Last one to the top is a third. <laughs> I win! Good game, old Bean. You almost had me. I don't get it. I always win at Swedish games. Tut tut, old boy. You're always a winner in my eyes. Oh, by the way, Wallace, you must clean and prepare for the festivities this evening. Are you almost ready, old chum of mine? I'm so thankful for your kind invitation to the Swedish smorgasbord. I stand a good chance of winning Speed of the Year Award. I've dreamt of this moment my whole life. And now for the moment we have all waited for. The Speed of the Year Award. We have chosen a man of class, distinction, and character. Yeah, and the winner is... Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> no, this is mistake. He is not even Swedish. It is mine. This award goes to Woody Woodpecker. He is an imposter. I am the Woody Woodpecker. No, no! I am Speed of the Year! I am Speed of the Year! Uh, hello, Doctor? Yeah, please help me. I can't stand him anymore. Yeah, well, what seems to be the problem? It's that Woodpecker. He's all nice and civilized. He is ruining my life. What are the symptoms? Well, well, he, he's courteous. He cleans up after himself, and he wins at everything I do. Sounds to me like his head's all jumbled up. What you need to do is rejumble his head. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Doctor. I think I have a plan. Oh, Woody, wake up. I have a treat for you. My dear Wally, you shouldn't have. Well, civilized or not, I'm still a woodpecker. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Say, Woody. Would you mind raking my yard? It seems your tree has dropped leaves all over it. What? Forget it, bub. Ah, so 
something should never change.